know what is up guys welcome back to the channel if you guys are new make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe and hopefully this video is very informative for you guys but for today we're gonna be removing this part of the dash right here and I'm gonna show you guys some of the steps or all the steps on how to remove it so let's begin uh, first you you're gonna want to start off by if you have a radio you're gonna want to want to take it out and down here just to make the process easier, you guys can remove this center part of the, the center console. Um, it's just going to be two screws under here. They're, they are Phillips screwdrivers. You take them off and you just pry it open like that. And there's going to be a pigtail right here. Uh, and you just disconnect it by hand. And then it should be able to be removed easily like that. And you can set it aside and you'll have so much more room right here. And you can reach under here. And if you plan to install a radio, <clears throat> you'll have easier access so yeah now that that's out th out of the way we can move up here to the where the climate control is and you can see that I already have it out and I took it out just so you get I can show you guys right here on the camera um, you're gonna have two um, screwdrivers right here and you're gonna have to access them from underneath right here and you guys are gonna want to have probably one of these type of screwdrivers so it's easier to to access like that and you can unscrew it out and once you guys have it have those loosen if you look under here um, you have the where the pigtail goes right here the connector and then right here there's a, a, a pin so this is the the harness for the climate control and then this pin right here is the one that connects to this little lever right here you just want to pry it open and it should slip out and there's another pigtail right here and I believe it is this one right here and that is for your climate control after you have all those things removed you should be able to push it from behind and pull it out and now that you guys have the climate control out and the center part of uh, the lower center console I'll explain to you guys how to take out the radio if you have an aftermarket one you should have two of these little little tabs and you slip them in and you should be able to pull out the aftermarket radio with the um, original uh, stereo head I'm not really too sure how to do that I know there's many videos on YouTube this one is all messed up the, the previous owner cut it and it's all a nasty rat's nest and the reason why I'm taking off this this whole center part is to replace the harness and yeah, that um, after you guys remove the head unit, you have a lot more space. So if you want to mess with the harness right here, you have a lot more space. But now that we have that done, I'll show you guys how to remove this whole center part right here and this top part. Okay, next guys, we're gonna remove this part right here. Um, it is just four screwdrivers. One right here. Actually, I think I believe it's three. Um, there's two right here, and then there's another one down here. You just unscrew those and you should be able to remove the whole plastic trim just like that. You want to release this lever so it's easier to remove and set that aside. Um, and the next part that you want to do to remove this whole part is the control little panels for the cruise control mirror if you have it and the dimming light and for the powered windows and it's very simple to remove these okay so you guys are going to want to remove these next they're going to be inserted here like so i'm not going to press them in because i don't want to take them out again but you're going to have two of these right here and you're going to want to come from behind and most likely from underneath right here and if you guys can't reach, you can always save this step for last, but I recommend doing this just so you have access to the screws behind the center panel. Um, and yeah, you just wanna reach behind here and push them out. And once you get them pushed out, of course, pull out the pigtail from the harness and just set these aside, make sure you don't lose them. And then you have this other one over here that you wanna press out as well. And then once you get that out, you pull the pigtail, and just like that, it's out. And set it aside, don't lose it. And now we can begin by removing this whole center part. Now 
I believe there's one on each corner, one right here, one screw right here, another one right here, another one right here, and another one right here. I think for me, this one is, th on this side is broken, but you're most likely gonna have to use one of these screwdrivers to have easy access to them. like that guys it is out it took a while but finally got it out okay guys so now that the centerpiece is removed I'm gonna show you where all the screws are at there's one on each corner basically one right here one right here one right here this is the radio and climate control area there's another one right here in the middle where the uh, this is where the the window heater is at and this is where the steering column is. And then there's two right here and two in the other corners right here. And you just reach from behind the dash. And it's, if you saw me in the time lapse, it took me quite a bit of time, but if you guys have the right tools, I used a really small screwdriver and a somewhat medium sized screwdriver. And then one of these ones with the, with the joint really helps a lot. So I recommend either having these two at least and it'll make your job so much easier. Now let's begin on this top portion. All right guys, so this top portion where the dash sits in is fairly pretty easy. Um, if the center console or the center piece was still here, you'd be able to reach in and press the hazards and the clock out. But since it's out for us, it's gonna be really easy. You just wanna press it out like that. And then the clock is next. You're gonna wanna release the pigtail from the harness and the clock is screwed down okay guys so now we took off the screw right here and the hazards uh, I think that the clock stays with the whole centerpiece, so we're going to try to pry it out. Let's take off these screws first. And we can get it from behind, right here, and pry it out. It really makes the job easier being able to push from behind so we don't break anything because these things get fragile over time. Okay, and the last thing to do is remove the clock from the harness. Just a little tiny pigtail from by, right behind here, pull it out, and it's free. And that's how you remove basically everything. And if you guys want to get access to your cluster, gauge cluster right here, two screws, release it, pull it out, take out the harness, and that's basically it, guys. Okay, so we're going to continue removing this. It's just four screws. Come 
right loose and you're going to want to twist it at an angle so it's easy to pull out like that and then right behind here we'll have looks like four heart, uh, pigtails to the harness and then you're just going to want to press down on them and release them. Just like so, and if you guys need to replace any LED bulbs from right here, you just want to twist them off and replace them. But yeah, that's how you take off the dash. We'll set that aside. And if you guys need to do any more work behind here on the dash, you guys can go for it. But that's basically everything installed, and the installation process is basically the opposite of the removal. And I believe it'll be a lot easier just because you know what you're doing now. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. That's the end for today's video. So this is the overview of what everything looks like removed. The four screws for the center part is are right here. R right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. And another one is right there. And the one that was right here broke off for me. But there should be one right here and I believe another one right there and for the top portion to remove the dash cover there is one screw right there you have to remove and you basically pry it open and it should come loose oh and then there's the two screws that go up right here and it should come loose all right, guys, that sums up the video for today. Make sure you guys stay tuned in for the next few videos because I'll be removing that wiring harness for the stereo, installing the stereo, and putting everything back together. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.